you guys. Last week, we hit the most incredible salt and pepper shaker sale. We found it on the marketplace. She said she had a million. If you bought over 50, she'd give you a deal. And I thought, oh my gosh, anybody who has more than 50 has a pretty dang good collection. Hey. Holy smokes. I thought you were coming just for salt and pepper shakers. No, sir. Last week, we hit the most incredible salt and pepper shaker sale. We found it on the marketplace. She said she had a million. If you bought over 50, she'd give you a deal. And I thought, oh my gosh, anybody who has more than 50 has a pretty dang good collection. We walked in and they had built a barn specifically for salt and pepper shakers of this little old lady. She had collected over 30,000. The daughter had taken half to her house and the half, the other half was still there and we got to look through. She was so nice. She let us pick as many as we wanted to and take as much time as we wanted. I'm going to go back this week one day, um, mostly because I forgot part of one of the sets, but also to look again because I feel like I could have missed something because there was just so much. It was a huge building, a pole barn, and the husband had built shelves floor to ceiling around the perimeter of the building. And then there were floor to ceiling shelves, double sided shelves, floor to ceiling, like four or five sets in this barn. And they were stacked full front to back. So you sometimes had to reach over three sets if you wanted to see the stack in the back. So I'll tell you, I'll show you what I picked. Okay. First I picked, she had these really cute red, pink, and blue puzzles, vintage puzzles. I just picked those because they were disp they displayed cute. So I grabbed those. They were just a dollar a piece. She had like a yard sale set up too. So we bought that. These in the package. These pottery ones. I liked the glaze on those. 
these mushroom ones, a set of those. Some were singles, but most were sets. I loved the design. I liked that the salt was frosted and the pepper was clear and the starbursts are everything. So cute. These I picked up because they were neat. Um, they were wood on the bottom and like a flow blue on the top. She had them numbered. Uh, this pair was number 19,630 freaking five. That's a lot of salt and pepper shakers. Um, these look like Frank Oma. I'm not, they aren't marked that they are, um, but they do go with the green and brown Frank Oma stuff that I've collected in the past. So I went ahead and picked those up. I got three sets of Tiki salt and pepper shakers, Tiki guys. And the mugs sell well for me, so I figured the salt and pepper, sh pepper shakers might as well. There's those. Oh, there's those. Um, the mister picked these up because he thought they were funny for the Indianapolis 500. We are from Indiana, obviously, so anything with the 500 tends to be a little bit collectible around here. I picked these up because the shape of these is ever so mid-century modern. The S&P on the top is really cute, and the gold is in good shape. Uh, I picked these up because they are old Vegas, like Fremont Street, old Vegas. So I thought that that would be collectible. I, for one, like am sad that not as many people go down to Fremont Street, Fremont Street as they used to because those old casinos are so cool. And I'm really glad that they built the Fremont Street experience over them um, so that people would kind of get a renewed sense of excitement about the old hotels. Um, I grabbed these butterflies because whenever I see those, I always grab those. I grabbed this. It's all in the box. Original. Little dream house holds the napkins on the back and the bushes are salt and pepper shakers, which was adorable. I got four flats, four computer box flats. So if you hear me rattling around, that is why. I got this, which is a really dirty, but it's a peach battery operated radio solid state hi-fi deluxe volume automatic and it also holds your salt and pepper shakers so why wouldn't you want that i mean come on um i got this really cool salt and pepper shaker holder i thought that was super neat i've never seen anything quite like it i got this with its own little holder they look like little eggs they both do have cracks on the back but for display this puppy's perfect really sweet i got these which i think is funny it includes a salt and a pepper but then it also includes these little ones in its own little carrier so that was funny i had to pick that up then there were two more sets of these triangle shaped salt and peppers which were interesting i got these because they're holt howard they have the stickers um still on them holt howard corks intact real cute mod 70s look i grabbed these because i do have the measuring cups that match so i'm going to bundle all that together and fix my listing this is a single but how cute is he I, I couldn't leave him behind he's marked japan so you know he's old and he's really huge i mean he's, he's like oversized i got these because i think they're funny they are marked taiwan but they they were a pair and i know they were even though they don't look like they're to go together because she had like six sets of these and I thought, oh, maybe the ones that look like this are supposed to go together. And then there's two that look like this. But no, one's a salt, one's a pepper. So they obviously go together. So I got them because they were funny. They just don't look like a pair. I grabbed these two cuties. They don't have a marking or anything, but they are really cute. And I got, oh, 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 I don't want to knock him off. The salt on this one is in such terrible shape. But I had to buy it because the pepper was perfect. These are Holt Howard Santa's. He's perfect, but of course, salt, which is probably used more than pepper, has seen better days and is flaking terribly, but the pepper, so cute, so cute. And then this napkin holder and salt and pepper shaker holder doodad, I liked the M shape of the salt, or of the napkin thing. Cute little feet on the bottom, and these just fit. They've got a little knob down in there, and there's a hole so that they sit on there just perfectly actually i'm gonna put all of those back in and then we can move on to the last two boxes those first two boxes i haven't even cleaned yet um these second two boxes have been cleaned 
and listed already, which by the time you see this video, they may all already be listed, but for now, these ones are listed. So I separated them into animals and um, plastics. So I got a ton of little plastic ones, these cute pink, um, these cute aqua, and the matching yellow. And these are funny because they're by a company called Squeeze It Corp. And they are like squishy, squeezy. They're not metal, but they have a metallic sort of topper. These are really cute, look like little bobbers, have S and P on the top. These, I have a set of four. Um, it's two of the tiny, where they go? Salt and peppers. Um, and then this other one, I decided to list them as a set of four instead of two and two because I did get two peppers of the big one. Um, I didn't see that she had a salt, so I might have missed it, but I did not see it with that one. These giant S and P, they're huge. Um, and I like that. These are really cute ones I've had before, but they got sold to some ladies who came to buy something else from me before I even got to list them. Really cute. Look at the S and P on this. So cute. I like those. So cute. Um, some lusterware, salt and pepper. These are the big ones. They have seen better days on the writing, but somebody could repaint those if they wanted or not because they're still really cute without. I like these. They kind of go with the spice of life and they're so orange and they're big too. Um, two more big pairs and I have two sets of these like this. There's the other set here and they're in similar condition. I have two sets of these pink and blue and they have the S&P on the top too. I don't know if you can see it with that glare but it does say S&P on top. Um, rooster cream, salt and pepper. And then I have the same set. I thought I had yellow. Yeah. Yellow with like a silvery gray, which is odd. I thought that coloring was odd. These pink ones have been spoken for, but they're in mint condition. They're like perfect pink luster wear. And then also a set of perfect blue luster wear. So that's those. Let me get them put away. <clears throat> But I've never seen so many cute plastic salt and pepper shaders in my whole dang life. And I I probably should go back because, I mean, I, I am going back because I forgot my little parts of one of my other sets over here. But, man, they just, she just had so many. And it was just like this wonderful lifelong collection where she'd been doing it since the kids could remember. And they had these, like, fond memories of mom and her salt and pepper shakers. And it was just too cute. So, and amazing that they had built a whole barn just for these bazillion salt and pepper shakers. So that was fun. It was fun to see. I'm like, I'm glad that when people keep that stuff and that the kids didn't just chuck it, you know, or send it to the auction or whatever. Like she was lovingly trying to take care of, you know, getting rid of these to people who would, you know, enjoy them and like them and do something with them that didn't just land them, you know, in a landfill or something. <clears throat> So finally, this is my last little flat. We're running into 10 minutes. Um, I liked these. Salt and pepper. I like the orange and yellow stripes. Um, a single of her, this Toodles, they're left in. She's left in. Mr. Toodles, I think it might be. This did not have a pair either, but really still very, 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 very cute. No marking on him or her. These are Anarcho and I have the pitcher and glass that go with it. So they'll be less, they're listed, I think, um, as a set of four with the salt and peppers, the pitcher and the cup. Um, cute pink elephants with cute little faces and long eyelashes. These cats um, do not match, but they are long necked and cute and pretty with cute eyelashes. So I listed them together with these long necked poodle salt and pepper shakers. These do match. Um, however, when I turned the big one around, he's missing half his head. So they went in a set with the cats. Um, I got two sets of these cute, cute, cute purple cows. Here's the other pair. One pair, one of the little cows has a broken horn. It's this one. So this set's listed a little cheaper than the perfect set because he does have a little break. 
These are Holt Howard chickens, and that's what I'm going back to um, her house for because I didn't realize that the bottoms were the bottoms. They were sitting in a different spot. Um, and so I do remember seeing them, but I just didn't pick them up because I didn't know that they went on the bottom of these. The lady, I communicated with her and she was like, oh yeah, you are welcome to come back. I'm not going to sell them. I know what they look like too now. And you can come back and get them anytime. So when we go back to get them, um, we're going to look through again, make sure we didn't miss any cool things that we wanted. Friars dogs, Holt Howard roosters, these really cute dogs, really sweet, the dogs, the boy dog's tail is broken so he's priced accordingly, these cute dogs, one off fish, <clears throat> and this pair I blacked out because I've had him before and I think that she is so cute, but this one has seen better days because she's been super repaired, but they still display really cute together. So that is all. Um, stay tuned because I am going to go back and I'll probably buy some more. So stay tuned for more. Um, if you have any questions or anything, always feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.